finally I found the fountain of youth, my precious. Oh, oh hey guys, uh, well, this is a little awkward. Well, I was just in the Mario episode of Vinegar, all the benefits it showed to have online. There's so much information about Apple Cider Vinegar online and how much benefits it's supposed to give you. The real question is, are those benefits backed by any science? So today I want to go over the Apple Cider Vinegar benefits and what is the mechanism behind those benefits for each one of them and if there's any scientific backing to them. So let's get started. Welcome, this is Dr. Jasprit Singh and today we're talking about Apple Cider Vinegar. Apple cider vinegar has been used for centuries to treat a lot of health conditions. ACV seems to be everywhere in drinks, gummies, and dressings. So what is it really? And why are people buying it? And should you be using it too? Apple cider vinegar is made from crushed apples that are fermented to form acetic acid. Now this acetic acid is what gives it a sour taste and also potentially its health benefits. So what are the health benefits of apple cider vinegar that are claimed online? It's supposed to help with weight loss. It's supposed to help the blood sugar level of people with diabetes. It's supposed to help your skin health, improves digestion, and even cures cancer. It also may have some antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties too. Let's start with digestion. One of the benefits of ECB is supposed to be digestion. Now the mechanism behind how it helps with digestion is that it increases the acidity in the stomach which helps digest the food more effectively. But there is no science backing this claim. There are actually some studies that show ASB may actually cause gastrointestinal symptoms. It can cause decay of tooth enamel. It can cause irritation of esophagus and stomach. So it's shown to have an opposite effect of what is claimed as a benefit of ACV. Moving on to weight loss. Now, another benefit of ACV is thought to be weight loss. And that's one of the most promoted uh, things online that ACB will help you lose your weight. So what is the mechanism behind how ACB causes you to lose weight? It is thought to cause weight loss by increasing the sensation of fullness and decreasing the body's ability to store fat. Now there is a small randomized studies that has shown some promising benefits of ACB with weight loss. In this study, people who you know consume 30 milliliters of ACB every day as opposed to people who did it lost more fat around the abdominal area than the other group. But a larger review of multiple studies did not show this weight loss benefit. Studies that have shown benefit are small in size and they've used quantity of apple cider vinegar that is more than recommended dose for a person in a day. And weight loss seen even in these studies is not significant. It will not make a difference in everyday person's life. So the researchers just don't have enough information to see if there is a significant weight loss with ASV and if the risks of taking ASV outweigh the benefits. Now, even though these smaller studies have shown some promising findings, like I said, if there are small studies and they used a higher dose of apple cider vinegar than recommended. So what we really need is a larger human study to see if there is a benefit of weight loss and if it is, at what dose of apple cider vinegar does it have that weight loss effect. Wait, hold on. I'm going to mix some apple cider vinegar and water. All right, here we go. Let's see. Who? What do you guys think? Am I looking glimmer to you guys? I feel glimmer. Yeah, it's good. There is some evidence that it may improve insulin sensitivity after we eat to decrease our blood glucose levels. This is mainly thought to happen due to the acetic acid, which can inhibit the digestion of carbohydrates. There is a meta-analysis study that did show that ESV can improve blood glucose levels and cholesterol levels in people with diabetes. But we still need more research to figure out how much apple cider vinegar to take, how often, what are the risks and side effects, skin health, now, some people use ASV directly on their skin to help with their skin health. Some use it for eczema. Some people even use it for dandruff, warts, or even body odor. Although I don't think ASV smells any better than body odor. But what do I know? It is thought to be used as a toner to help balance the pH of the skin, which helps reduce acne as well as age spots. 
The acidity is also thought to help control the bacterial growth on skin as well. There are studies done that show that ASV is not helpful in dermatitis at all, and it does not help with the balance or the control of bacteria on the skin either. So there is no good evidence to use ASV directly on your skin and may actually cause skin irritation. Now lastly, cancer. There are claims that ASV can help treat or even prevent cancer. Now there are no scientific basis for this that ASV can treat or cure cancer in any way. As with any supplement, it's important to be very cautious. Talk with your doctor before you start taking ASV on a daily basis, especially if you have chronic health conditions or you take medication on a regular basis already. Consuming large amounts of ASV can be harmful for your health as well. ASV taken in large quantities can affect your teeth and enamel, irritate your esophagus, and cause nausea. It can also interact with your medications. It's important to talk to your doctor before starting ASV daily. It can also cause skin irritation if used directly on your skin. Before I go any further, have you guys ever wondered what ASV tastes like by itself without dilution? Well, you're going to find out today because I'm going to taste it for you and tell you note by note what I taste on the apple cider vinegar. Here we go. Okay, I'm only going to try a small amount to tell you what it tastes like because you should never take apple cider vinegar by itself. Always dilute it because taking it by itself will cause a lot more side effects for you. Let's see what it tastes like. Oh man, that was good. Oh God, I'd be like, that tastes really sour. It just tastes terrible. And that's why people mix it in smoothies, mix it in gummies, and mix it in salad dressings, I assume. It's not fun to take it by itself. Well, there you have it, guys. Those are some of the benefits claimed for ASV and the mechanisms that are behind those claims. And if there was any scientific backing to it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel because it helps the channel grow. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.